Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way to Good Neighbor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to turn around and face south, pull out our gun, and then we'll crouch. We're going to head through this back alley over here. There's some raiders over there if you want to fight them. We're going to take a right. And then we're going to take a left. Loot these poor dead settlers here. We're going to go into the Wilson's Automatoys HQ or headquarters. It's all the same thing. Go inside. Turn on our pit boy lamp. Out there. Don't forget to grab that fusion core. I have no clue where that guy is. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. I had no clue where that suicider was. How do I can loot him without... It's all good. I'm not going to lockpick that door. It's not really that necessary. Disarm that. I'm hungry. A human. Humans. I can smell you. Bleed! Bleed and die! Are you hurting my dog? This is what death looks like! Die, fool. Hurt my dog like that. We are unstoppable! Ah! Face me, you coward! I will, just give me some time, bud. Now, normally, I would not play with my Pip-Boy light on like this, but because it's harder for everybody else to see, I turn it on. It does make it a little harder to get through all of this because everything sees me. So 
So that's unfortunate. You can go into that terminal if you like and um, dog meat, you're in the way and get a little bit of lore along with this one right here. Let's listen to Mark's warning. Damn it, Nate, where are you? <sighs> After today's meeting, it's going to take a miracle to salvage the site contract and you decided to take the evening off? Look, I wanted to keep the old man out of it, but what can I do? He called me out in front of the board. I had to fire him. Where do you stand, Nate? Are you with me or with him? I want you in my office Monday at 9 sharp. We can discuss the contract or we can discuss your resignation. It's up to you. Then we're going to lockpick this door real fast. Sweet. Not much in here besides that med kit. We're going to go down here. We're going to put on some Radix. That way we don't take too many rads. Take him out. And then we're going to hack this terminal. Maybe. Now we'll hack the terminal. Let's go ahead and loot this area over here. Be really careful that you don't get into a fight. It's really easy to die over here if a super mutant sneaks up on you. Stuttering here. Just because there's uh, the oil on the ground and the explosive barrel and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, dog meat. Let's go around, I suppose. What? Okay, I was like, what? Are you serious? I know that he was a legendary. Right here, you can use the ID card. And that's where we started. Over here is a master uh, lockpick. We're going to go ahead and lockpick this. Nice. Now, normally, if you don't care about all that other stuff, you can just bypass it. See, that's where we opened up the door. Could have just bypassed it. But I like to show everybody how you can get through this area or just areas in general. That way, if you don't have high lockpick or anything like that, you can still get through the area. Right here we get the developer's password. We want that. It's going to make things a whole lot easier for us. Also grab the Giddy Up Buttercup. That's where the guy was that blew himself up. Right here you can hack that terminal and turn on some turrets. I'm not going to bother with it. It's not important to me. Ooh, wow. We're just getting all kinds of legendaries today, aren't we? Dude, how many super mutants did that nuke kill? Guy will have a skull on his head. Be really careful. Don't know where dog meat is. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to listen to a hollow tape real fast. Children dream. They let them imagine 
a better future beyond this blasted war. They give them hope. Thirty years ago, I met a man who understood that. Your father and I built Wilson Automatoys on that hope. He poured his life into that hope. And now, you've thrown it all away, sold it in search of a quick profit. It's still not too late. If you won't do it for me, for your father, for the company, then please do it for the children. That is so sad. We are going to be meeting Arlen later. Probably much later. I don't know how much later, but we will meet him. His story is pretty sad as well. That's the way out. You don't want to go. Well, I guess you could go to the back bay. There's only a couple of super mutants there. So it's not that big of a deal. Right there is the turret we could have turned on. Or at least one of them. Okay. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Right there is uh, some more lore. If anybody wants to read up on it. And then right here, the password that we picked up earlier, we can use to unlock this door. And then let's go into this computer. We're going to eject the hollow tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and unlock the safe. We don't have to worry about picking the lock on it. We can just loot it. You can also grab this giddy up buttercup. We're just going to want one of them. So keep a hold of it. Don't get rid of it. You can even bring it back into one of your settlements and just store it until you're ready to use it. Now we're going to exit out of here. We're going to head southeast here where you can see the billboard. Who's there? We're going to be taking out some raiders here. Thought you could hide. Holy shit, all the legendaries today. Okay. I'll give it oh! Playing games with you, huh? Ah, found your sorry ass. Oh, what is going on with you, bud? You look like you've had better days. We're over by the DB Technical High School. We're going to be exploring this. Let's go ahead and turn our Pip-Boy light on. And then we'll go inside. I don't know what happened. To, I was about to say, I don't know what happened to dog meat. He ran off. Be sure to disarm that. It's easy to get killed because of that stupid bottle cap mine. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth boy. There you are, you little bastard. Choices for today are grilled crab and cheese, 
Up top here, we can get the DB Tech Varsity Uniform. There's only one in the game. Oh my god. Bastards, man. Who is throwing the Molotovs at me? Somebody. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat. Just get warmed up. Let's go ahead and put a level in. I'm going to put it into perception. And then I think we're going to start working on riflemen next. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put it out there that I may start that next. Because I'm pretty sure we have plenty of perception at this point. Get up! Get up! <laughs> Where's dog meat? Poor dog meat getting beat up. Get off me. Uh, ah! that? It's called fear. Is it? Because I'm not really scared, bud. You should be more scared than me. Taking out half your crew. Ah, oh, man, come back. I was having fun. Right here, if you want to hack into this terminal, it'll give you a little bit of lore. Damn. They're everywhere, aren't they? Here's where you can control the turret if you want to shut it down. We can open this up. Along with that. And then let's pick the lock on this ammo box. That's it. And then the safe over here. Yes. All right, dog meat. I need to get through here, bud. We're going to come this way. Grab some buff out. Nothing really in here. Right here we have a makeshift bomb and a tension trigger. By the way, if you want, you can come down over here and loot all of that. This is the bottom half. I'm not going to bother looting all of that. I do a lot of that stuff off recording anyways. So don't think that I'm not looting or anything like that. I come in here and I clear out everything and then bring it back to Sanctuary, scrap it, come back, clear out some more, and just keep doing that over and over again. I mean, if you're building a settlement, that's pretty much what you want to do anyways.
I'm on the search for some sturdy combat armor. I don't know if I'll go with uh, heavy or sturdy for the rest of the game. We'll just have to see. Right here, be really careful. There's a ton of raiders over here. What the? We're going to come around and get this guy. He's going to have a special helmet. It's a mascot helmet. Again, this is another one that there's only one of them in the game. So you're going to want to pick it up. Even if it's just a store in Sanctuary. Get the mascot head. Bingo. And then right here we get a Unstoppables magazine. Now we're up to plus 3% chance to avoid all damage from an attack. Awesome. Also, one of my favorite fucking comic book covers right here. Love it. I don't know. It just looks super cool. Uh, just the amount of everything going on right here. If you want to learn some lore on the backstory of what's going on in here, you can go into that terminal. Can't believe I just passed up that ammo box. Over there you can go in, explore, it'll send you out into another spot in the world. I'm not going to bother with it. Got it. Let's go upstairs. This is the bottom half that where we killed a bunch of people. Oh, that was leather. I thought it was combat armor. It's all good. Come over here. And then over here. Go all the way to the back through these green doors that we opened up earlier. And then we're going to exit out of here. Yo, psst. Sorry, I wanted to put that skull bandana on dog meat. I think it looks really cool. Come over here. And then around here, and we're going to be going to the combat zone. So just head north out of the DB Technical High School, and the combat zone should be right here. We're going to be picking up Kate. We're not going to keep her in our party, unfortunately. She is a really cool uh, companion to have. Dog me, you're gonna have me jump over you. Let's go into the combat zone. Kill. And what the 
He ain't Think supposed to be in here. Rip him to shreds. <laughs> oh! Got an intruder. Covering fire. Get off of me. Oh well. Aren't you the dangerous one? If you want to loot all this stuff, you can. Again, I'm gonna do all that stuff off recording, so. Just makes the video run a little smoother. Don't hit my dog, fool. You think you'll be any different? That one was ugly anyway. I'm just getting started. Is this other guy at hiding? You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. To heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. Why don't you come over here? Show us you don't mean no harm. So right here we have picket fences. There we go. This is going to allow you to build potted plants in your settlement. So you want to talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just going to bash on my theater some more? Hey! You all done killing each other? Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline. A hundred plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in and we became a more exclusive establishment. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. I'm sorry? It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm? now? no. You know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? Why do you ask? Consider it professional curiosity. Now, what'd you think of the fight? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So... Here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? <sighs> Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. 
Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy. You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Kate. So, you're ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show in the road? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Don't look at me that way, you dirty little mole rat. Come back here, dog meat. No, don't run away. Boy! Come on, boy. It's time to go. Holy shit. Dog meat was on a mission, man. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head straight over here. We're going to start making our way to Good Neighbor. Actually, we're going to take a left. I'm sorry. Head north. We're going to take a left here and head north. If you want, you can talk to that Protectron. He'll tell you more about the railroad. We don't need to. I know how to find the railroad along with knowing the password to get in. Let's kill some ghouls. That is really good, but I don't think that it's sturdy combat armor, unfortunately. I may or may not change it out. I'll just have to see. Just keep heading north. There's a couple super mutants over here if you want to kill them. Not going to bother with them too much. And then right over here is Good Neighbor. Let's go inside. Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Mm. 
Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? You, you're a ghoul? That's right. Like my face. I think it gives me a sexy King of the Zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. Listen, a lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. I'm surprised I failed that speech check. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Oh, a new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? What's it like, you know, being a ghoul? Well, it's a lot worse when people always ask you about it all the time. But I guess I can't blame them. On the upside, I look pretty good. For being over 220 years old. Now, were you buying anything? Wait, you're 220 years old? Okay, okay, it's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? More than you might think. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war, if you're so ancient. I had a beautiful house, white picket fence, and a lawn with the greenest grass you'd ever seen. It was... peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. <laughs> it's the truth. All of it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Actually, I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while, if you ever happen to go back there. Cleo over here will sell you ammunition and guns. We're going to go inside the third rail. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. We're going to go over here to the men's restroom. And in this stall right here, we're going to get a live and love. Bingo. This one's pretty good. We're going to get companions a permanent gain uh, to plus five damage resistance and energy resistance. By the way, for those of you that don't know what the third rail is, the third rail in a subway, like on the subway tracks, is a live rail, which means that it's got electricity running through it. So if you step on it, consider yourself dead because you have normally on railroad tracks, you have two rails. But when it's 
normally like on a subway or, or something like that, that may run on electricity, then you're going to have that third rail. I just figured I'd give everybody a little trivia, a little fun fact. Let's exit the third rail. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later, you've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock! I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass! <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! For the people. I fucking love Hancock. He's such a badass. Such a fucking cool character and companion. He's morally immoral, if that makes sense. <clears throat> hey there. You knew around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Seems like my kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but... Beats cowering behind the walls of Diamond City, that's for damn sure. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually fixing stuff over at the Hotel Rexford, or drinking that swill down at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. What well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Isn't brewing equipment going to be kind of... Large? Usually it is, but apparently this machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are you going to take the job? I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Are you going to take the job? I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Hey. Oh man, someone new! You need some Jet Man, home brewed, reasonable prices? What's Jet? You don't know? It's the best. It just 
hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Your offer's a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. Not good enough. You said there's already a crew of mercs there. I did say that, didn't I? How about 300? Good neighbors full of chem addicts. You have plenty of money to fund this job. Oh, I see where this is going. Job's going to be 200 caps, no haggling. You said there are gunners out there? The blackest hearted mercs around, friend. Well armed, organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. Anything more you can tell me about Hallucigen? Like I said, that name's killer. They probably made all kinds of chemicals worth grabbing. The gunners were willing to send a team in there, and those guys don't go after lame marks. All right, Fred. We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. I just clean up around here. Hell yeah. We're going to pick up our second Live and Love magazine. This one is going to permanently gain plus 5% XP while adventuring with, an, with a companion. We have been adventuring with a companion pretty much the whole game so this is a definite awesome magazine to have let's go upstairs <clears throat> what no it can't it it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. He makes a good vendor over at whatever settlement you want him to be at. We're going to head out of the Hotel Rexford. Hey, you find that brewing machine yet? Or are you just here looking for scrap? Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> You're going what to am I going to tell his right? mother? 
crazy that Good Neighbor is really good at sniffing out who is a synth or not. Let's go inside the memory den. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hi. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B -b but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man-to-Man -Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City. But over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or... or his butler, Jarvie Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours, so you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! We'll end up doing all the Silver Shroud stuff in the next video. For now, let's go ahead and exit the memory den. Alrighty, everyone, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.